All right. What is up, everybody? This is Dropwise from the Subconscious Sound Collective. Um, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my CRT video wall. Uh, this is a project that I've received a lot of support for. Um, people are really engaging in the comments on Reddit, the Facebook groups, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to do a little rundown of it and how it works um, and kind of share my secret sauce with everybody a little bit. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, first things first are, are the CRTs. Um, there's nine identical CRTs. They do not have to be identical if you decide you want to replicate this project. Um, I just got really lucky uh, at a yard sale and I happened to get 10 of the same exact units new in box with remote for $10 each. So I scooped up every single one of them knowing that I was going to do something like this at some point and you know, I have uh, I have dreams of doing a four by four at some point, but uh, finding, oh geez, six more of these is going to be tough. So, um, if you know anybody who's got some of these, uh, let me know. But uh, let's dive right into the actual hardware. So first things first is a laptop feeding an HDMI signal. Nothing crazy uh, about that. Feeds into a three by three HDMI video wall controller from eBay. Um, so this thing was like $85, $87, something like that after tax and shipping. Um, and I'll be honest, at first I got really frustrated with it um, during programming because you have to set it up to display a three by three grid and it just wasn't working. I was using the remote for it, it was not cooperating at all um, and I, I figured out why later on is that the menu for it is tiny it's meant to be displayed on like large format um, high resolution screen so it was way too small for me to see um, and eventually I hit the right combination of buttons I mean I tried for two days I worked for hours on it um, trying to get it to display correctly and I finally got it but the good news is once I got it it has saved that profile so that three by three every time I turn it off and turn it back on it defaults to three by three so it took some work uh, I originally sent a, a re refund request to the uh, company that um, that I bought it from and it is now working uh, it was user error I suppose after all so uh, I'll put a link to that controller down in the description it's kind of like a no-name brand but it it works it's cheap um, I really can't complain about it anymore, aside from just a little bit tricky setup. Um, but that was that's on me. Um, so after the video wall controller, um, we have nine HDMI outputs, one for each TV, and then those go down here to nine adapters, HDMI to component, and each one of those adapters uh, needs USB power. Little guys acting up. Um, each one of those adapters needs power. So uh, I got a big 25 port powered USB hub um, from Amazon. That was like $25. Um, I won't have a link for that, um, but it, everything from eBay, uh, I'll put in a link in the description. I'll, I'll send a link for the Amazon unit just in case uh, anybody wants it, but I think there may be better more elegant solutions out there. Um, the only reason I bought a 25 port was um, because I figured I'd probably grow onto uh, a four by four or a five by five grid at some point. I'm very ambitious in that way. So um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit um, and, and sort of showcase what I've got going on here. Um, I've looked for, I looked for months about information on how to do this and I, I really didn't find anything um, to my surprise. Like, um, you know, you've seen CRT video walls and, you know, the way I started with this whole thing is um, duplicate uh, images, uh, duplicates through, you know, coax splitters and things like that. So every TV plays the exact same image at the exact same time, which is cool. But at some point you, you kind of grow out of that or maybe you just kind of get a little bit bored of that effect and you want to do something a little bit more 
engaging or just something different, um, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, that's certainly how I felt about it. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, I did some digging, didn't find anything about what I wanted to do. And then, um, actually at work, uh, I was installing a video wall, um, with some professional like HDMI, you know, high resolution screens. And it just kind of hit me. I was like, wait, why can't I downscale these to analog? I was like, I'll just have to get nine adapters but i mean that's not the end of the world um the adapters ended up only being about four dollars a piece on amazon or i'm sorry excuse me on ebay um when you buy over i think nine units you get like a half off so i ended up getting a pretty good deal on them so i'll post a link to those as well in case anybody needs them there you'll see them in video game stores all the time because you know people are doing like retro gaming stuff now um people are wanting to play games on old TVs and stuff, so they're pretty popular, but they're way cheaper online, especially if you find the right supplier. So, um, and I'll talk a little bit very briefly about uh, this chaser effect that I'm doing here in Resolum. Um, so over here, I have a solid color generator. Uh, I have it set to white currently, if you look here at the preview window, um, and I have four different steps. I have a solid the top middle and left right middle and then i have the corners so i have like a step sequencer here uh, each clip is set to be only 0.4 seconds uh, in the clip transport section but the real uh, key to this is in the output transformation um, the tricky part about doing this crt video wall and getting it just right is doing your uh, input selection masking or your slice adjustment. So I have to account here for the gaps between the TVs, left, right, and up, down. Um, so that took me quite some time to get it just right. Um, and it's not perfect yet, but it's really, really close. So I'm pretty happy for now. Um, but once you've got all nine of these slices made up and you're happy with how your screen layout is looking, you make one of these or several of these solid color generators. You give them a short duration, and then you go over here to slices. And here are all your slices. And you drag whichever slices you want to show up here. So top, middle, middle right, middle left, bottom, middle. Uh, you know, you, you just drag each one of those slices in onto these clips and it will basically add it to that color and it'll say, okay, I'm going to look like this. Or I'm going to look, you know, solid. I'm going to look whatever. It, it'll just do that for you. Um, but then what you have to do here is you go to layer, you go to autopilot and you turn it on. So if you turn it off, this is just a plain old, this is just the video clips uh, playing. You select your color, your first clip, autopilot. And you can key map this too. I have it currently mapped to X to stop it and C to start it. So that is how we do that. Only trick is there's a little glitch where you have to like select the first clip in order to start it. But um, that's something you can kind of fine tune and work on in post, <laughs> I guess. Or if you have a separate MIDI controller or something like that, there may be a better way to do it. But for now, as I'm tinkering around and getting prepared for a show, um, this is this is what I got going on. So, yeah, just wanted to do uh, a little video about this. Um, sort of talk about it and kind of go over some of the questions people have been having. 